Yeah, no, when we... Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> no, no, I know. <laughs> when, oh, yeah, the name of our podcast. Oh, we haven't yeah. even talked about that. So... <laughs> we, <laughs> So good at this you don't today. have to be intelligent no. to start a podcast. Uh-uh. Maybe you have to be really dumb, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Doing yeah. it. I'm, I'm Kristen yeah. Leanne. I am the co-founder of Arctic Fox Hair Color, and I also put videos on YouTube that sometimes people watch. <laughs> <laughs> She's kind of a big deal. I'm a YouTuber. Know who she was. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I didn't want to say the YouTuber. That just sounds so pretentious and so lame. Like, Maybe we're a little lame. I am a little lame. That's okay. Yeah, it works. It's okay. Like in twenty twenty one, that's a career, I guess. A YouTuber. <laughs> no, it totally is. <laughs> Why do you? Come? I'm an entrepreneur. There you go. First of all, yes. There first and foremost, I should say. <laughs> yes, and I think that's how we all connect. We're all yeah. we're all a little got that bug. Yeah, totally. So. Okay. Well, I'm Jenna, and I own Jenna Styles. I also own a hair extension line, and I'm a mom. We're all wearing her hair. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're all wearing my hair. View extensions. View. Name drop. Shameless. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Brooklyn. Um, I'm kind of the glue between all of us, right? Yeah. Yeah. I met Kristen a couple years ago and just started doing your hair and I don't know. We just clicked. There's, I'm not everyone's cup of tea, but Kristen and I definitely clicked. She's a lot of people's cup of tea. <laughs> More like shot of whiskey, but it's yeah. fine. <laughs> Um, and then Jen and I work together. I also do hair and known you for a couple years too. And, and you're about to, about to pop. pop is what I'm about to do. <laughs> 39 <laughs> weeks pregnant. And, and we're sitting here, champ. Make, we're sitting here making her do a yeah. podcast while she's, you we're know. pushers. I know. <laughs> 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 Gotta get her done. So what, so what's this podcast going to be about ladies? Uh, this is get in loser. We're making a podcast <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and what's it about? I don't know. I mean, we just. Here's how it kind of started was like, we were doing Kristen's hair, we were all in Jenna's room, and we were just doing her hair, and we're talking, and I mean, the conversation was everything <laughs> from, I'm going to blush, it was like, <laughs> sex to femininity, I mean, entrepreneurship, and, and then... And books we love. Yeah. Along the way. And I just wish we, I wish we had a mic there at that Honestly. moment, because it was yeah. like, I was just like, man, people need to hear how awesome we all are. <laughs> <laughs> It was good. No, we had like some really good mm-hmm. advice and the fact that we're in s- such separate stages. Like how old are your kids? Uh, almost 20 and 16. How insane is that? If you're watching the video version of this, I mean, just look at this. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, mm-hmm. And you're about to have a baby. I just had a miscarriage. Mm-hmm. So we are literally in completely separate like chapters mm-hmm. of our lives. So we started talking about all that kind of mm-hmm. stuff yeah. and how awful your pregnancies were and hard for you. Yeah. Yours has been a breeze. Yeah. I just <laughs> went through a miscarriage, like I said. So it's been, it's just all over the place. So I think this podcast is going to be about You know, we want to take um, questions from the audience, too, like, along Mm -hmm. the way and whatnot, but I think it's kind of just like a girl's chit-chat about everyday life stuff. You're going to have a lot to say. I'm going to need your tips soon, (laughs) hopefully. I thought you said tits. (laughs) (laughs) You don't need these, Kristen. You're good. Yeah. Yeah. Got plenty of those. Yeah. Here's that. A (laughs) nipple might actually pop out of this dress. Like I I feel like that might help the views. Yeah, well, you know. Give us so many followers. Maybe we need to make an account on OnlyFans instead. (laughs) Only fans only. Only Only fans? fans. I thought it was only fans. I don't know. I don't know. I'm really playing into this I'm so lame thing right now because I really thought it was (laughs) fans only? I think it's fans only. I have no idea. I think it's only fans. Okay, <laughs> tell us what is it. I guess someone. Could, yeah. <laughs> well, I guess. someone will set us straight. <laughs> we'll start showing people our toes and get paid for it. I know, right? People got weird. We could probably toes. sell the hair that we cut off people. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Shut up. I mean, yeah, maybe we could sell. Your lots clients of are probably hair. listening to this, Jenna. Yeah, <laughs> I won't do that. I promise. It's gonna get weird. Yeah. See so. why we needed a podcast? <laughs> I mean, this is just exactly why. Well, it's that entrepreneurship, you know, I'm like, how can I make money? Oh, I can sell other people's hair, not just Yeah. Hair. <laughs> yeah. Girl power, femininity. Yes. Um, and we're going to be doing this once a week. Put one out mm-hmm. once a week. Question, mm-hmm. question mark. Mm-hmm. As long as we question can all, mark. we'll see how. We're going to try and bust them out today because, um, you know, got things coming up. Going to be a little bit busy, but. Very busy. Yeah. yeah busy. She's going to be having a baby and I'm taking my baby to college. So right around and the I'm same week. trying to make a baby. Trying to make a baby. <laughs> <laughs> 
finally. So, <laughs> yep. So that's basically... Did I, uh, we covered everything, right? That's yeah. Well, and I think us different stages of our careers are really mm -hmm. important, too. Like, Brooklyn's got her career going. She's kind of, like just transitioned into like, like owning a, her own business baby entrepreneur here yeah and like <laughs> I own like a hair extension line I own a salon and we actually are signing a lease tomorrow on a new place so Yay. we'll fill this is you so guys exciting I can't yeah. wait well we'll yeah. save that for later and then yeah. obviously like you are goals so you know you're oh all, thank you yeah so you know we all can learn something from each other and totally and know. support each other that's absolutely you know. yeah. like I found it's really hard to find a good core group of girls who understand what it's like to be driven because um, mm -hmm. it can be looked at very negatively and yeah. uh, so it's just it's really great to have people in my life that get it and mm -hmm. don't think that I'm an evil person because I'm driven no I totally I totally agree or are jealous of you absolutely that's which is huh. another that's a whole different yeah. episode because um, yeah I, actually I can't even say cuz because I'll just go into that so we can talk about that on a different yes. one but we have um, each other now yeah, <laughs> so we're excited for the podcast. Thanks yes. for watching and listening. And it's going to be available on pretty much everywhere that you can listen to a podcast as well mm -hmm. as my YouTube channel, which is just youtube.com slash Kristen X Leanne. I'll create a playlist so they're all there in one spot. But um, anything else to add? I'm excited. Yeah. I feel yeah. like I feel like as the baby here, like, you know, they say like you are who you hang out with or like the top five people. And that's for me, like people that you're around have such a big influence on you. And so I love that we've, you know, just kind of formed this little tripod of the three of us. And I love I learning from you girls and growing. I feel like, I mean, I have older sisters and I love them, but I feel like you guys are like an extension. You're my blonde older sister. <laughs> Aww, awesome. <laughs> you know, so I think it'd be really fun to just talk about life and girl stuff. And just, yeah, totally. I think our biggest thing is like, we all just, we're very real. Yeah. And yeah. we're like, no, no BS on the show. No drama, supporting, love each other, and just girl talk. Real yeah. girl talk. It's also going to be like a mini book club, too. Uh, oh, mini yeah. Because I Definitely. bought the book that you suggested. Actually, yeah, oh, yeah, one or two of them, and you're reading the one that I suggested. Yeah. Are you reading yep, it? I have it, too. Okay. Well, I'm oh, nice. listening to it. Oh, oh listen. Yeah, That's I listen good. to it in the bath. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Right when we now, first... I'm listening to my Bradley Method book. Oh, too. we'll have to talk about that one. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's birth stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not quite there yet. But, uh, yeah, no, when we... Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> no, no, I know. Oh, when, yeah, the name of our podcast. Oh, we haven't yeah. even talked about that. So, <laughs> we, <laughs> we're so good at this. You don't today. have to be intelligent no. to start a podcast. Uh-uh. Maybe you have to be really dumb, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've, yeah, I've okay, done dumber we things. We should but. talk about the name and kind of yeah. how we got there. So... <laughs> Three Blondes and a Mic was my first idea. Yes. Mm -hmm. We put it out there on my Instagram mm -hmm. to see what people said, and there was a lot of interesting ones in there. But then you were yeah. like, I always say, yeah, no, I know. Yeah, no, I know. So. And it can be about anything. Because, like, what if you change your hair color? What if, I, I mean, almost, we all are blonde at heart, even though yeah. none of us are natural blondes. Mm -hmm. um, I just think, yeah, no, I know can just be so many things. So, um, and I'm sure you'll hear us say it like a bajillion times. So, and now yeah. you're going to start noticing when you say it. I yeah, know. My true. husband calls me out on it now and he's like, I'll say something. Yeah, and he goes, I know. yeah, yeah no, I know. And I'm like, <laughs> crap, did I say it again? Like, <laughs> you do. Girls say it all the it's time. It's just like, it's fitting then. But it was funny when you guys first started talking about it and you're like, what are your favorite podcasts? I was like, I've literally never listened to a podcast mm -hmm. and you were shocked. Yeah. Like. Perfect. Actually, that'll make this so much better. <laughs> I yeah. am interested, though, like, because I'm sure you have listeners or subscribers or whatever that aren't in California. Like, is that a California thing? Yeah, podcasts? no, I know. No. Oh, yeah, like, no, I, was I, know. Like, I was like, podcasts? No. I'm pretty sure no, <laughs> the, yeah, no, I know. Like, the like the negative positive, like, yeah, no. Oh. I think it's a Cal like, like a California thing. I think so, too, but it I'd be interested be. To, to know if, like, people we'll in New York say that. on it. Yeah. Right? Like, NorCal or? says hella. Ew. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nick says hella, and I'm like, when I, whenever he says it, I totally make fun of him. Yeah. And, I, and I say ew in my head, too. <laughs> Sorry, NorCal girls. <laughs> we're, we're three SoCal girls, so we can't help it. But we love you. Yeah. <laughs> While she looks Take around. <laughs> That's a 
one other thing that we might need to say in this is that we don't really have much of a filter and we just yeah. say what comes to mind. So if you're easily offended, mm-hmm. this podcast is not going to be for you. You're probably going to get offended. Today we're going to be talking a little bit more about each one of us so you can learn all there is to know. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I think you're up. You're Am right. I Oh my gosh. I feel like my hands are sweating just <laughs> talking about myself. Um, me, my gosh. Well, I feel like I have kind of a boring childhood. I have... This is Brooklyn, by the way, oh, yeah. in case you're only listening to audio and you can't tell her voices apart. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hopefully, I think they will eventually. Yeah. We've got very distinct voices. Yeah, that's true. Um, I don't know. My friends that come in hear you in the other room when uh-huh. they get their hair done. They're like, oh, my God, she sounds like you. Oh, do huh. we? Do we sound mm-hmm. like? It's hard I to hear what so. you sound like. I don't think so, but... Yeah. Kristen would be the best judge yeah. of that, so... Yeah. No, I don't think so. Yeah, my childhood, I grew up in a small town um, in Southern California, kind of a country girl at heart. We had horses, chickens, and yeah, there was a Dairy Queen that got built in 2000, and we used to ride our horses through the I love that freaking so. story. I drove past it when you were telling me that, like uh-huh. back from Palm Springs, and oh, yeah. I saw it, and I was like, I told Nick, I was like, that is the Dairy Queen <laughs> that Brooklyn dro- drove her horse through. I mean, drove, drove her horse through. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean. Drove my horse through. Yeah. Um, grew up out there. My parents divorced when I was super young. Um, Relatable. Yeah, I know. I feel like we'll have to get into an episode that'll be called, like, hashtag daddy issues, because mm. I've um, been there, done that. Yeah. <laughs> like, everybody probably. I don't have that one. I have an amazing Oh, that's good. That's yeah. Good. So, I can really on the other side. Yeah. But, no, yeah. that's good. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so. Didn't stop me from making daddy issues though with men so <laughs> I had a great dad but I still made those mistakes so yeah, go for it sorry I think so, that's all of us yeah I know right um for me yeah I always knew I wanted to do <clears throat> hair so I just kind of went that route I feel like other than the issues with my dad he was an alcoholic and um so other than that growing up I was kind of a Pollyanna like I had a good life I was I was the cheerleader homecoming princess I dated the quarterback we would not have been friends in high school really <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I dated all the skater kids. I was made fun of. I would. I wanted to do mm. cheer, but all the cheer chicks hated me. So. Oh well. You would have liked me though. Sorry. You're nice. Yeah. yeah, I was the nice cheerleader. At least I hope that my <laughs> peers would say that. And comment below. Yeah. <laughs> Did you go to high school with Brooklyn? And how nice was she? Yeah. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. Uh, but um, I feel like. The real part of my life where I started just going through challenges and changing was when I met my husband, my now husband, which, I mean, I love him. It's not his fault, but <laughs> I feel like in a weird way, God, like, knew I couldn't um, go through hard things in my life before him. Um, someday I'll have to get in the story of, like, how we met. It was kind of crazy. But he did stop yes. me on Instagram. Yes. Even though I have, like, a baby following. <laughs> I love this story, too. Yeah, he stalked me on Instagram, and um, that started... Ugh, Oh my gosh, like, we went on one date, and then my mom got put in the hospital, and that was kind of, like, where my world, like, started to shift, and my mom's, like, my best friend, so, mm-hmm. um, Andy showed up at the hospital, and kind of came that. to my rescue, you know, yeah. um, and then fast forward, we got engaged at a line dancing bar, um, oh my gosh, that's epic, that's <laughs> so rad, it's a really cute story, I, I love that, I love our story, um, But yeah, and then uh, fast forward to our wedding where the owner of our venue was found dead the morning of our wedding. So that's a fun story we'll have to eventually get into. Oh my gosh. Oh, well, and before that, duh, I'm like skipping parts here, is five weeks before my wedding, my dad passed away from a heart attack unexpectedly. Um, You know, so you just go through things like that and it starts to shift you and change you. Not even a year into our marriage, we went through a missed miscarriage, just, you know, similar to, like, what you went through, Kristen, and yeah. um, my body held on to it for four months, and it was, Ugh, you know, so, brutal. so it was crazy, mm-hmm. so, so brutal. been through some stuff, and that was around the time where I started um, talking with Jenna about kind of shifting my career path as a hairdresser, and um, going from being an employee, business owner, and kind of starting that venture, and doing some stuff. And That's how we met. Yeah, that is how yeah. we met. I think... I think I just called the salon and I was like, hey, who like is good with like mm-hmm. fragile ass blonde hair and like extensions and isn't going to yank and like knows when to use heat protectant and they put me with you and then. Wait, stay. when was it? Was that after you got married? No, I think it was, um, yeah, it was I after know. I got married. Yeah. It was, I think it was right after I got married. Yeah. 
And that was And you the, were going through your divorce. Yeah. At the time. Yeah, that was like fresh, fresh. Yes. Well, yeah. look at this. So me and her met right before you got engaged. Yeah. So if you had left that salon and came and worked with me, you would not have met Kristen and <gasps> we would not so have been true. here. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Everything happens for a reason. That's, there you a, go. that's true. It really it does. Really does. <laughs> oh, that's really cool. So those are kind of some of the key points in my life that <clears> I feel like <throat> we'll have to create some more episodes and get into some of that drama. And now you're pregnant. And now I'm pregnant. I know. Like a week away, two weeks. Oh my gosh. Tell them what you're having. I'm the having name. a boy. This is Jensen David in here. She's and naming him after me. Just kidding. She <laughs> hates that. <laughs> Please do not call my son Jen, or if I see you in public, I might punch you. <laughs> they wanted to do this while I was pregnant because. Pregnant Brooklyn is really sassy and has uh-huh. zero filter. And when I'm in my room, I'll we'll hear her talking, and I'll be like, "She's pregnant." <laughs> <laughs> just, FYI. just so you know, I'm already a th- that I'm already sassy, and pregnancy hormones has just. Oh my gosh, that would have been so funny if you didn't say what you were, and we make them guess what we are. Well, it's too late for that. Oh, they have. Yeah, they can have. guess yeah. us. We can believe it out. We can Google you. I can probably Google you too. Oh well, never mind. <laughs> Yeah, bleep Probably it out. can't Google me. It might be bleeped. It might be bleeped. I think that'd be interesting. Oh, oh yeah, we can bleep it out. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Well, so you want to kind of, do we want to talk about Kristen a little bit? Mm, about Kristen. There's lots we can say Kristen. about Kristen. <laughs> Where do I start? Like, this could be a very long episode. <laughs> Wait, we have one question. Oh, yeah. What is your last name? Because it's <laughs> oh, not I Leanne. <laughs> I asked her. Uh, Morgan. Right. Oh, Morgan. Hopefully not for long. Right. You have, like, three first names. I have, Kristen's my first name, Leanne's my middle name, Morgan's my last name, but Morgan is my ex-husband's last name, um, and we have the same last name. Obviously. Wait, so you didn't have to change it when you got married? Wait, both no, I did. I did. My, my maiden name's not Morgan. <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, but it's Morgan, and then I hopefully will be changing it soon. Yeah. If you're catching my drift. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the ring? Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah. Where is it? Where um, is it, Nick? Well, I'll go through my story a little bit so you guys know who Nick is. Um, <laughs> if you're subscribed to my channel or social media, you probably already know who Nick is. But um, I was born in San Diego, grew up in El Cajon, moved mm-hmm. to... My parents are also divorced, so they got divorced when I was about two and a half. Um, I've had my stepmom, Karen, since I was like two. So she's mm-hmm. basically my mom. Um, and we moved when I was in fifth grade from... Uh, Santee is really where El Cajon, Santee, Santee to uh, Hamul. So we lived on like two acres or something You're out in the country. Yeah, country. So like, you know, now we live out in the country here in San Diego. People are like, how do you like it out there? I'm like, "Uh, I love it. I'm super used to it. Like if I don't have like space around me, I just feel like I'm in a Mm fishbowl. I can't stand it. So, um, gosh, I moved back and forth between my mom's house and my dad's house. My mom basically had no rules almost. Like there was no punishment. There was no, I got into a lot of trouble when I would uh, stay at my mom's house, I think I got arrested at least twice. <laughs> really? Um, yeah. <laughs> we can go into that on the seventh episode. Yes. But um, yeah, I was, I was, I was definitely <laughs> defiant as, as a like I was always in trouble at my dad's house. Like they cleared a spot for my horse and everything that I never got because I had a bad <laughs> attitude. So I had a, like a not so great oh. relationship with my dad growing up. Yeah, he mm-hmm. was not really in the picture unless it was to um, yell at me. Or mm. punish me. So I didn't... I had... Brothers and sisters? Yeah. So they're all half, though. So I have... Mine too. Um, yeah. So my I have an older brother, um, mm-hmm. a younger brother, and I didn't really grow up with them because I lived mostly at my dad and my stepmom Karen's house, and then I have a sister from them. Mm-hmm. But my sister and I are like... Couldn't be more So you don't have opposite. any full siblings? No. No oh, full wow. siblings. Yeah. 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 I just have... I have like... There's eight of us, but I have one full sibling. Yeah. Eight. I don't have any either. Oh, yeah. Wow. I have five older brothers and two older sisters. Two oh, step, my gosh. four half, and one full. That's a lot. Yeah. Um, That's a big blended family. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So no full. Um, and I couldn't be more opposite for my sister. Like we like don't really... Not that we don't talk. Like that we're... You know, we have a good relationship. We just don't have anything in common. So... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really, and she lives in Germany. So that oh, wow. Help oh. Yeah, it's not like we can go to lunch or something. Yeah. And she just got engaged, so I don't think she's leaving anytime soon. But, um, gosh, I moved out when I was 16 because I was not not ha- stoked with the home life. I was not getting along with my stepmom or my dad. And so I moved out when I was 16. Um, 
met a guy online. I think it was MySpace. MySpace. Uh, he lived in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. <clears throat> so I moved to Baton Rouge, Louisiana oh, wow. when I was 16. Um, I worked like a couple jobs. I think I had like two jobs. I worked at a pet store and then I worked at um, a place called Piccadilly. If you guys live in Baton Rouge Piccadilly. or have been there, you probably know about that little shithole. Mm-hmm. Um, it sounds like a strip <laughs> joint or something. It sounds like, like the cow shed. The cow the cow shed. Wait, we want to go to the cow shed. Who what is that? Me and Andy. The cow shed. No. It's like this dive oh. bar. It, it's like the diviest dive oh, bar. Oh, I like dive bars. Where right. is it? It's in. It's by our house in San Marcos. And really? Saying, yeah. I'm like, as soon as Jens is here, so... I'm like strapping that baby on and taking it to a dive bar. I mean, I'll go with you guys, but... <laughs> I am so there. Not my cup of tea, but I'll go with you guys. Jenna is the kind of person who would like go there with a mask on way before COVID ever existed. Oh, yeah. So yeah. <laughs> I've been there once, one time with little gloves on or mm-hmm. something. She what? would. She'd be like, "Don't touch anything." <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I, I get on her when she chews her nails. Oh like, yeah, that, Brooklyn, that would gross hands out of your too. mouth. <laughs> you loving listening to this, huh? <laughs> We're at Jenna's salon, by the way. So if you hear anything, say hi to Tara. <laughs> Like, hey. literally, I can see someone getting, like, shampooed right now. Like, tone, it's great. Hey, at least it's not going to be a boring shampoo. No. <clears throat> no. Um, okay, so, moved out when I was 16, moved out of Louisiana, back to San Diego, um, was in a pretty abusive relationship when I lived in L.A., mm-hmm. um, mostly verbally, but sometimes physically as well. Finally, uh, grew some balls, got out of that, and then I created my own business, and it was called Sideshow by the Sea. I made, like hair feathers and like earrings and I just have always been an entrepreneur because my dad owns um owned a carpet cleaning business and he always taught me about you know your credit score and (laughs) investing and you know different things like that so what he knew anyway um so I always had like a business venture going Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. they would fail and fail and fail and I just like learned from each of them until I met my now ex-husband Ryan and we built Arctic Fox together yeah. and launched that. And it was like so crazy, like doing like customer service, like like chats and emails from like our dining table. Like we did everything as totally grassroots, like from the ground mm-hmm. up. How um, old were you when you guys got married? I was 23 or 24 okay, when we so got married. Young. And yeah. how long did you guys, how long were you married for? Five years and we were together for seven. Okay. Um, so yeah. So then we ended up divorcing about two years ago now and the divorce was like final, like on my, was it not my 30th birthday, my 31st birthday. I'm 33 now. Mm -hmm. Uh, or no, no, I'm not. Oh my gosh. Don't age yourself. I'm 32. (laughs) Jeez. I'm turning 33 like later this year. So I keep like, I'm like prepping myself for saying 33. Yeah. That's yeah. You didn't say how old you are. Yeah. Oh, I just turned 30. 30, 30. 30, 30. Wait, there when's you your birthday? Or can I ask that? Because are we going to do the horoscope thing? I think it'd be kind of funny. No, yeah. I don't know. So don't say? Maybe birthday? not. Let's wait. Let's see. I don't know what you can guess. Wait, I really don't know what her horoscope is. Have we talked about this? Uh-uh. Sorry. I'm oh, okay. I, I just whispered it. I don't know that. what any of them mean, so you'll have to like, talk to really me either. later. But... I'm, like, I'm into all that. It's... I want to be into it. I just don't have the time to read about it. Or, like, the attention span, um, so you gotta I don't know me. if I really read about it. It's just, like, online stuff that I read, but I, yeah. It's, it's just, just funny. It's a dark hole. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, we'll you, have to do an episode on that, because I would love to hear more about it. It'd be fun. And well, and you do the thing where, like, you take your signs and, like, see how you're compatible. Like, there's oh, something yeah, yeah. mm-hmm. or whatever. I have a book about that for when I was, got divorced, and I was, like, on, because dating apps didn't exist when I was single before. They just, it was, like, plentyoffish.com and stuff, but it didn't exist. So I was da- downloading all these dating apps, and I bought a book so mm-hmm. I could see, like, who I would be oh, compatible yeah. with. Uh-huh. But, like, I don't know how to read it or use it, or I, it, I thought it would be easier than it is, and I don't get it. So oh. I don't need it now, fun. but... It'll be a fun one. We'll, yeah. we'll definitely have to do one on that because I'm really into all that stuff. Oh, I love that. We'll get, like, an astrologist to come on here. Oh. oh that would be That's rad. a thing? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's a thing. Uh, that'd be really cool. Well, so I'm divorced, um, and uh, what else? So I was separated for seven months, and I think my ex-husband thought it was going to be harder for me to get over it than it really was. They always do. <laughs> he wanted to keep getting together and everything. And I was like, mm-hmm. okay, okay, let's, I'm, I'm seeing someone now. So I started dating and then seven months later met Nick mm-hmm. and we are two year anniversaries in September, September mm-hmm. 11th. And he's a fireman, paramedic. Yay. We live together. We own a house in San Diego and then I have my house in Nashville still. So I split mm-hmm. my time between the two and I have like 25 animals. 
So that's a whole different story too. <laughs> I rescue a lot of animals. Mm -hmm. I actually have an animal YouTube channel. Yes, you also. do. Can we have um, Noodle on here one time? Yeah. Like I just want to like sit here. And Wait, hold. which one is that? Noodle's like her snake. snake. My butter okay. ball python. <laughs> She's like, okay, okay. I, I weirdly love snakes. So. He's awesome. Yeah. yeah, they're cute. I like like lizards and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Snakes are. It's just like a little Ooh. lizard without legs. I don't know why they just seem more unpredictable to me. Cause like you don't know where they're gonna go. They're a little more unpredictable. Yeah, that's that's fair. Yeah. Okay. But he is so sweet. He he would never bite you. My other snake will bite anything that comes hmm. near her face. Let's not bring that one. Yeah. <laughs> I have to pee. Could we? Yeah. Pause. pause. Okay, so thanks for letting me pee. That's much better. I can actually think now. Mm -hmm. Um, so dating a fireman, uh, firefighter slash paramedic is definitely challenging. That will have to be, somebody said to me recently, they're like, you should really do a video on dating a fireman because mm -hmm. their schedules are just so, you know, they get forced to work or they're, mm -hmm. uh, deployed to a fire for two weeks. So it's definitely been interesting. In, anyone in, um, Marines, Army, stuff like that too. What's the first really? responder? Yeah, first responder. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, anyone in, what's that? <laughs> yeah, first responder. It is challenging. Like I was telling you guys before I started, we started today, it was like the last 10 days, he's been gone eight days out of the mm -hmm. last 10 days. And he's off today. And then he's back at work for three more days. How much she loves us. <laughs> but then he's at work, then he's off for two weeks. I'm okay. so glad Andy's not in that world anymore. Because he yeah. was, yeah, he was an EMT for a long time and yeah. doing the 48 hour shifts and waking up in the middle of the night, yeah. they're tired. That's, that's hard. I know. Does it make you like miss them though? I always wonder. It does. Like in that yes. kind of relationship, like when you're with the person every single day, it's like, I wouldn't you know, change the schedule. Then, I wouldn't change yeah. it. I yeah, love yeah. It's like you I get to get that passion. Be like, oh, I missed you. Yeah. Like, I think you know? it's Might better be for the guy. Kids. I'm not someone who gets sick of people. I probably have like codependency issues. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like having them there. But that's I have just code codependency issues. But I also like to be. <laughs> I like. Oh, I like I a break. Up. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure it was probably nicer for Andy back then. <laughs> like, so. He would get a break from me. <laughs> I like having a break because also then I can watch, like, if, like, I want to hang out with girlfriends, I don't feel, like, guilty not being yes, there. Yeah. And then if I want to eat, like, if I want to, like, make cloves of garlic and smear them on tortilla chips, like which I know night. it's going to give me horrible mm -hmm. gas. We can smell her. I just can fart it up. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I have this. Wait, you don't in front of him anyways? No. We don't fart in front of him. Oh, I really? Don't, I don't fart in front of him. Really? No. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right, that's... Nope. He does on accident. I'll make fun of him. He always blames it on my turtle. He's like, or my turtle. I mean, you were talking about your turtle earlier. <laughs> he blames it on my frog, Chet. My oh, bullfrog. frog. Yeah. He's like, well, that was, that was Chet. He's so... <laughs> Oh my saying. gosh, that's really, I wouldn't expect that out of you, Kristen. Jenna, that doesn't surprise me. You. <laughs> what are you trying to say? I'm rough around the edges. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an uncouth little bitch. I mean, from some of the conversations we've had, yes, you have like zero filter and you will talk I about. I like want my boyfriend to get a boner though You talk me, about so... butt plugs, but you won't fart in front of him. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. Andy and I are very open. We've we also... have one rule. We Number two, we shut the door. That's... Well, I'd hope so. Other than that. Oh, yeah. But yeah. like, other than that. How long have you been I'm... together though? I've only been with Nick for two years oh, almost yeah. I mean so. but it was like a few months before we were farting in front of each other oh really yeah. yeah and we're going on eight years and I still won't that's funny <laughs> <laughs> well interesting yeah um speaking of sex lives uh as I said in the last podcast um so piece of my story is that I just went through a missed miscarriage and I meant to say missed miscarriage before because it totally makes a difference. It does. And I made a video all about the miscarriage because it was way more difficult than I expected it to be. I was yeah. actually pretty depressed for like a week and a half and sometimes it still happens. Like I'll mm -hmm. go through like little mood swings with it. So it's definitely an interesting thing that I just went through, but we'll probably um, get pregnant again soon. Mm -hmm. So my mom's been texting me all day like, wait, don't, don't have sex until you're ovulating. When are you ovulating? And I'm like, I don't know, mom, let me send you a picture of Clue, my app, to tell you when the last day of my last period was. She's like over there doing all the calculations. But doesn't it tell you? Your app doesn't tell you you're ovulating right now? So it does, but I think too many people like bitched about it being incorrect and not helping them on their journey, whether it was to become pregnant or not to become pregnant. This is my theory uh -huh. that they took it off because yeah. their message was very like passive aggressive. Like, yeah, a bunch of assholes complained. So now we have to remove this basically. Yeah. Flow still has it. Flow? Mm -hmm. oh, I should check that one out then. Yeah. yeah. I've I, got pre mom. I use natural cycles and that one had it. Oh really? I've got pre mom and I've got the little um 
little ovulation tip test strips yeah. uh, to tell me like when it's high or low and you just take a picture of it and it tells you there's, they were really cheap. It was like $8 for everything. Yeah. It's awesome. That's nice. So that's kind of where I'm at. Um, I'm in San Diego right now with all the animals and it's good stuff. Um, recently bought a motor home mm -hmm. so I can finally <laughs> live my best camping life. I've been camping since I was like two. Yeah. So I'm pretty excited to have a motor home, go to the river, the desert. Yeah. Well, maybe I'll stuff. actually try camping if I go with you. I've got two full house. bathrooms in the motor home too. I've never so. been camping. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Uh -huh. You've never my, been camping. What? The old salon I was at like way before this one, there were these girls that would like go camping or something. I think actually Tara knew them too, but they're like, oh my gosh, if we get this reality TV show, like we're bringing you camping because that would be the most hilarious <laughs> thing ever. Yeah. yeah camping and extensions yeah. don't mix. It sucks. Uh, I, yeah. Yeah. I don't, I, yeah. I don't like critters, like, like <laughs> bugs and like that's, that's the thing. Like I'm just scared of like spiders and like that kind of stuff. And you know, you've seen me when there's a spider in here. I like freak the yeah, ass so out. How do you, how do you camp? There's usually not spiders when you're camping. Actually, I've been to like church camp. <laughs> yeah, me too. That is not camp. You're not camping until you have to like, like, I don't know. I was gonna say catch your own food, but that's not. Let's not get crazy. Yeah. Like I don't, I don't know. Like in a tent. We in a tent. Can... I was gonna say you can't do glamping like in an RV. That's glamping, but it's it's still camping. It's super fun. I camp like... in the back of Nick's truck. Like there's a mattress and we have yeah. a, a box like that yes. plastic bin over there. And like we put all of our stuff in it. We've got our dish soap in there. We've got our everything to make food. Yeah. And then you just take that and you sleep in the back of the truck. It sucks for oh, girls. Oh, Glamis. Cause... Oh yeah. I've been to Glamis. Okay. Would yeah. you say that's in? camping? A tent? The desert. It's a desert. I think he had like a thing that he had put over the bed of the truck. I don't even remember actually. I was like seventeen or eighteen. I was eighteen. That's still so, fun, though. Uh, yeah, Glam's I think cool. we slept in the bed of the trunk. Truck. I was going to say, he put, maybe, he, he put you in the trunk? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then I think we stayed in a tent one other time. I just, I don't remember. So I yeah. think I have. Okay, that's camping. Yeah. If you were in Glamis, there's no hotels out there. So no. Yeah. You, you, well, yes, I have two full bathrooms in the motorhome and a queen-size bed above the cab. So if yeah. you want to come. Yeah, I'm down. Yeah. I'll try it. Okay, It'll so be we're getting to know Jenna for more. For pure entertainment <laughs> value. <laughs> yes, so Jenna's never that would been camping. Be... We're going to the river in October, I think. Ooh, so. ooh, what I what come. river? Yeah. Um, we're going to McIntyre as a campground. It's the Colorado River, though. Oh, cool. Yeah. So that'll be fun. River Lake camping. I'm there. Yeah, it's so fun. That'd be so fun if you guys came. Take my little baby and. Yeah, oh, I need to practice. Like I wanna, I wanna hold Jensen and you know, yeah. oh, make sure so he doesn't excited. die. I could probably do okay, that. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, we'll, we'll bring Skylar as backup. Perfect. There you yeah. go. Well, that's me in a nutshell, I guess. Um, mm -hmm. So passing the baton over to you, or passing the mic, Pass shall the I mic. say? <laughs> Move the mic over towards you. There you go. Yeah. So, um, I am Jenna. Uh, previously known as Jennifer, but I changed my name after a now divorce. Janifa. Now Janifa, Janifa. Apparently, my husband thought it, he likes to play pranks on me, and he changed my name in my phone to Janifa. So whenever <laughs> it calls anybody, let's see. I had a pretty normal childhood. Uh, parents are still married. I have the most amazing parents, so no issues there. Um, but I did still happen to become a statistic and was a teen mom. Uh, Got pregnant at 18, had my first kid at 19, and then... Wait, are you um, going to talk about that story? We'll get into that later. Okay. So there's a little story behind that, but we'll talk about that later. Okay. It, the way I got pregnant was not normal. That is so crazy. <laughs> you, That's so wild to me. Yeah, we'll, we'll touch on that next time. Um, we're just going to hammer out all these uh, <laughs> these facts real quick. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a little bit older than both these girls, so I probably have a little more shit. I don't know. I don't know. I've had longer time to more do baggage. stupid stuff. Yeah, don't cuss mm. on our podcast. <laughs> Sorry, kids. My kids. Okay, I'm literally joking. So, um, okay, so then I ended up marrying my, like, junior high, high school sweetheart. Uh, we didn't, we weren't together the whole time, but we ended up, like, reconnecting later on, and we got married when I was 22, had my daughter, my second kid, at 22, so I was pregnant when we got married, um, and uh, that did not turn out too well. He was, uh, became, was, is, I don't know, an addict, and um, was ex extremely abusive, uh, verbally, physically, you name it, he was it, um, cheated, 
I don't even know how many times. I can't even. Yeah. I mean, I Ugh, I will never so know how rough. many times. Um, so it's crazy that you guys have that in common, like abusive past relationships. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. Exactly. Like, and I was an alcoholic. There's mm-hmm. like two of us that like have something in common for like yeah. things that we've gone through, like miscarriages, and then totally. that, like, we'll have yeah. to yeah definitely. And we talk all about connect. That. Yeah, we all connect on some some level. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so I was with him for five years, and we were in a band together. That's really? kind of interesting. Yeah. yeah. So we were in a band and um, we were very, very close to being signed. Um, You're the singer, right? I, me and my husband were the singers. Um, we'll have to get you to sing on the podcast. Um, <laughs> if you have auto tune. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, no, it was more just like, yeah, it, that was fun. It was and, fun. Uh, but my husband could not kick his habit. So, my ex husband, not my husband, my ex husband. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, we ended up getting dropped and then. Um, uh, I left him shortly after that, not because of that, but because an incident happened with my daughter where she actually was around for one of the, the situations and um, was, yeah, so she was in the middle of it. We'll touch on that. We'll get into all that stuff later. But that was my Hail Mary. I finally had the nerve to leave because of that exact situation. So I finally got out of it and, you know, you do the back and forth thing for a quick minute and... Mm-hmm. Uh, didn't date, didn't do anything. I was just like, I'm going to be my mom, be, be the mom, no dating, no nothing, just take care of my babies. And then four years exactly to the day, uh, me and my now husband went in and signed papers to like get married. I don't what is it called? When you like, not like, like in the courthouse? No, like we went marriage to like, license? yeah, to get our marriage license. Yeah. And it actually, the lady that was getting the marriage license prepared for us. She's like, wow, it's exactly four years to the day when your divorce went through. Oh, I was like, that was really weird. And when I, huh. when There's... I told my ex that I was leaving him, I told him, you have four years to get your shit together. You have four years. After four years, I will forget you. I will move on with my life, and you will not be allowed to be a part of your daughter's life in case, unless she decides to find you after 18. Wait, that's so weird. Because didn't you mm. say, Kristen, that you started dating Nick on September 11th, which is like the anniversary for your divorce? Mm-hmm. No, like that, I right? my something. divorce went through on my thirty first birthday. Oh yeah, okay, that's yeah, what it yeah, was. Just, yeah, yeah. Dates. That's funny. Yeah, super <laughs> weird. So yeah, we my husband and I now we started talking in February and we were married by August. Mm-hmm. Wow. So real fast. Mm-hmm. That was all you can. That was all Ken. He pushed it. I'm like, I'm not, we're not getting married for a year. And he's like, no, we're getting married this summer. I'm like, no, we're not. And we did. So now we're on eight years almost. It'll be eight years in August. And um, he's awesome. Pisses me off, but he's awesome. Yeah. And I think that's everybody's husband. You know? Yeah. So I own, a, I own a salon. I own my own hair extension line. We are now opening another business. Me and my husband own that businesses sense. together. Yeah. That's cool. We're both entrepreneurs. Always have yeah. been. Like, had my first patent at like 23, I think. Um, I loved that conversation I did last <laughs> night about your patent. That's yes. so rad. So we'll have to get Kristen to wear some of them. I'll have to pull them out of the archive. But um, <laughs> Absolutely. You can tell them what it is. It, so way <laughs> back in the day, um, uh, we had this, or I patent this jewelry company, and it's for gauges, so like the big holes in your ears. Um, so basically anything that attaches to it or dangles from it, I had a patent done. So um, did a few things with it, did warp Tour, did uh, Ink and Iron, and I have a partner, and um, my parents fully supported me, and my dad owns like tons of patents. He's a medical engineer, and um, so they were super supportive and just always made me believe I can do anything I wanted to and I still believe that to this day. And you do. <laughs> and I do. And I will. So yeah, that's pretty much the quick notes. Quick yeah. notes. And you're taking your son to college. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. I I like seriously try to like block it out of my mind until it happens because <laughs> it's thank God a little bit for COVID because for me personally in my life it kept my son here another year. So I oh, got to just like yeah. soak him up and um, you know, we did like every Sunday with my parents and it's just been, it's That's been a gift positive. for me. Yeah. So, you know, I always believe like there's something positive in anything, everything. Yeah. Death's hard. So that, that one's hard, but everything else aside from death, like you can find something positive from it. So, yeah. um, yeah, it was a blessing for me in that area. And yeah. So next the end of, oh my gosh, what are we in? The end of July. July. 
the end of August. Yeah. So August 14th, we leave to take him to college. So yeah. that's an ice maker, by the way. Oh, yeah. Over there. And my daughter just got her license. She just turned 16. Oh, no. She has her permit. She's getting her license in like two weeks. So that's exciting. Yeah. She can drive herself around. Are you going to buy her a car? She already got one for her 16th. Oh, <laughs> dang. My parents were yeah. like, go fuck yourself. Yeah. I Actually, was so excited because my son didn't want a car for his 16th birthday. And I was so excited to get him one. And that's he, so weird. Why? He wanted an electric drum set. Oh, okay. Well, Dylan. fair enough. Fair enough. That's cute. Yeah, so now he regrets it, but yeah, <laughs> it's fine. So Yeah, especially yeah. the price that cars are selling right now. Oh, my gosh. Like... Yeah. Yeah, I bet he wishes he got that because yeah. he could sell that for a pretty penny right now. Yeah. So, like, if people are listening to this, like, months and months later, we're, like, towards the end, I guess you could say, of COVID, you know, we're into 2021. Yeah. There's people... chip problem with all the cars, so you can't get a car. I've been yeah. trying to get a car out in Nashville, and they want, like, $450 a month for, like, a crappy car. I'm like, yeah, yeah no, I'm not paying you that much for that car. <laughs> no. no way in hell. I'll ride a bike. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Well, in a nutshell, that's our stories, I think. Yeah, yeah there's more to dive into, I think, with Absolutely. each of us and things that I didn't touch on about, like, when I started YouTube and how that transpired, but th well, there are all of these different things can come out in different episodes, and I think it'll be, you know, this will probably be one teasers. of our longer ones, this one. Right? Our teasers. Yeah, our teasers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next episode. Bye! Bye! <laughs>